Well, we have seen plenty of legendary athletes come through the University of Maine over the years, and one star is in the final stretch of her award-filled career. As the women's basketball team sets its sights on a third conference championship in four years, one piece of the puzzle is fully healthy and ready to cap off her time in Orono with another ring. News Center Maine's Sam Rogers has the story. Milan. Puts up the cap. You Maine fans have seen that a few times. Okay, maybe more than a few times. But as the calendar soon turns to February, Blanca Milan's historic career in Orono is winding down. Obviously my number one is getting that ring no matter what. Before chasing rings, Milan was recruited to Maine from her hometown in Spain. Coach Amy, you like used to call me like a lot, you know, he was very consistent. I wouldn't be honest if I told you I knew what she was going to do and <laughs> what she has done, but we knew that she was a very good basketball player. Milan arrived on campus in 2016, but she wouldn't be the first to tell you. My freshman year is funny because I didn't talk at all. Like I didn't even talk to my teammates. Blanca came here not wanting to speak at all. <laughs> she didn't want to talk. She was really nervous. She was very shy. After starting every game that year, she was named to the America East rookie team, reaching the thousand point mark her junior year, being named the 2019 Conference Player of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year are just some of her accolades. Then Milan tore her ACL last season. I had to learn how to go through it by myself and how to like make the best out of it. So um, I think it helped me on the court too, you know, to just learn how to go through challenges by myself. Fully healthy, Milan is averaging 22 points and more than seven rebounds a game this year, helping pace the Black Bears to a 12 and one record as the team looks to get back to the America East Championship in Milan's last quest for a third ring. I honestly just want people to think that I gave it all to the program, you know, night in, night out. Uh, even in my worst games, I gave it all. Milan's story isn't over yet. There are plenty of more pages to be written. In Orono, Sam Rogers, News Center, Maine.